Hello, everybody, and welcome to HPAW's Games of the Year 2013 Award Show and Giveaway, where we'll be taking a look at our favorite top 10 games collectively decided, starting with The Stanley Parable, which uh, was a surprising game. It's existed for quite some time, but this is uh, its kind of official big Steam release, and it's... Uh, Available to buy on Steam, I believe it's fifteen dollars regular, uh, but I believe it's on sale in the Steam Winter Sale, or it at least has been and will be again. To play this game, we have World Gone Awry. What do you know about this game, World? Nothing. Microphone? I know nothing. Okay. No, it's nothing. <laughs> Wait, are you wearing glasses? He's wearing his ballistic glasses. Yes. You have ballistic glasses. In case any, in case any shards come out. At you? <laughs> <laughs> we need a camera in the room. <laughs> yeah. Anyone want to buy that? Camo jacket. Yeah. Cargo fucking pants. Oh, Alright, this is this is serving as our sound test, so anyone who sounds pants, low. Um, we have Four some people sharing pants. microphones, because we have five people in here. Uh, we're going to have to make do. Uh, make joining do. me today, uh, we've got World Gonna Rye, NW Striker. Gracias. Bisk. Yep. And Teclas. Where's that sound coming from? The, uh, that's the room sound. No, that's, that's what it sounds like in this room here. Yeah, it's it's it's, uh, it's busy. There's people talking in the background. You know, you hear H. Okay. We were, we were on a tight, tight ship. You know, yeah. lots of people got to answer the phones and stuff like that. Oh, we, we have people. Yeah. H. Five Porters. This is H. Five Porters. Can you write your call? <laughs> uh, no, he's not in right now. May I take a message. What's that? No. Go fuck yourself. See, the answer is no. <laughs> All right, so uh, why don't you begin this game? And this is uh, we're gonna play. This will be a little different because we're not gonna have a whole lot of discussion about what's going on at first. We're gonna let World uh, figure it, figure it out. World is the only one in the room who hasn't played this game or seen someone play it. I've seen someone play it. I think Fisk has seen someone play it. Uh, you want to move that mouse out of the way? It's just gonna be there. Yeah, there you go. Oh, controllers. Striker and World could be loud. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're, I'll do my best. We're doing the best we can. The end is never the end. It's never the end. It's never the end. <laughs> the end is nigh. So failing yeah, to succeed the is nigh. <laughs> failing to succeed does not mean failing to progress. Success is going from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. Who said that? So keep your morale low. Abe Lincoln. We're going to said that. <laughs> Mr. Rinkin. Todd Howard said that. Was it close? Who's Todd Howard. Who's creator. Todd Howard? He's the Bethesda, like, owner. Oh. I like CEO? the, uh... Yeah. Okay. I don't know where he This is it. the story of a man named Stanley. Hello, Stanley. Get up, Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Tent. And then one day, something very peculiar. Now he was happy. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh yeah, that's gonna have to change. I was wondering how quick, how long will it take World to invert, <laughs> invert the controls here? It's probably reverse mouse. Did I do it? Yep. Alright. 
Who would ever reverse the mouse, though? Like, the actual mouse. You wouldn't do that world, right? You're not that insane. No. But I would switch the x-axis on the mouse. X? Wait, what? what? You would switch left and right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just fucking <laughs> No, you're on the right! I switched the z-axis myself. I changed the y-axis. No, no, that's, that's where we started from. The z-axis, for sure. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. What's the interact button? Uh, I have no idea. Cause... Sounds like X and A. All right. Yeah. What's he? What is he pressing though? Right now. He's just kind of mashing all the buttons, trying to figure out what shit is. This looks like Pro. Stanley is a midget. <laughs> hey, hey, what's going on? We have to look up and bite. Hey, man, can you see my mug there? <laughs> Hey, is, is Blued SC who I believe it to be? Yes. <laughs> Trying right. to look out this fucking window. <laughs> welcome, Blued, to the stream. Welcome. And welcome everybody else while we're at it as well. Tasty Pants, Shadow Reaper, Shadow... Uh... Happy Festivus. Combat Man, Ivory State, Pencil... Yeah, a Festivus uh, Pete, for the Pete rest Small, of us. Snail, okay. uh, to name a few. What does the cup say? It says Tell. Bionic Man. What about the big L? Is he on there? I don't see a big L. No, okay. Is that Luigi? No. L. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, really now? <laughs> really, really? Aww. You picked the wrong no! guy. He <laughs> went to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Yeah. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Rolls is like the perfect person to play this game. I think so, yeah. I think we made a good decision. Yeah, because he hasn't played. Yeah, I mean, that Bob Allos, that is the best decision. He's the only one who has not seen any of this game, and that is the best way to experience it, by far. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth really the nice detour, lunch. after all, just to spend yeah, a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley say. simply stood here, drinking it all in. What if, what if I really want to drink it all in? Uh, you don't have any... Uh, uh, negative, uh, uh, actual. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and schedule. <laughs> Bonus soda! Yes. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Do it. It's blue D. Blue capital D. Big D. Blue. Blue big D. Blue. It was a typo when he created his first gamer tag. <laughs> <laughs> He's lived with it. Yeah, but remember, uh, you can pay to change your ta gamer tag. If it's his PSN account, though, it, it's his for life. Do not lie. You're, You're lying, lying right now. Right now. Stop, Stop lying. Stop. Are you lying? He was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't following directions. Yeah. Wait, I can't. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Your choice has been made. You can't go back. You can totally take something from that room. Yeah, yeah. That was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> what was that a lie? A lie within a lie. Is and a truth. Now Stanley has to make a return to the long jump. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. <laughs> Penalty for jumping. <laughs> hey, someone's got to pay to clean and have the floors. Uh, uh, but in his eagerness to prove that he was in control of the story, <laughs> yes, Stanley left from the platform and plunged to his death. Excellent, job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very funny. yes, so good. <laughs> I haven't seen that. All right, one. ending one. <laughs> Uh, the meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Are you playing Stanley right now? just needed to get yeah. to the meeting room. Um, no, not me, on. but yeah, world supply. This game doesn't have an autoplay mode. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Is that the actual time? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> if so, we're either early or late. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty early. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Let it ball <laughs> up inside you. Take it out passive-aggressively. Oh, shit. Using slides to assure employees everything is okay. 
So uh, I guess this is a good time while we're reading this to point out that we have a copy of the Stanley Parable to give away. Uh, not exactly sure how we're going to manage to do that yet, but we'll come up with a way. Uh, last year we did trivia. Or two years ago we did trivia. On this slide. <laughs> charts, charts. So yeah, pay slide. attention yeah. and it's maybe we will Stripes. maybe we will uh, ask a question. And the first person I see in the Twitch chat, which may or may not be fair, but it's the best we got. Same information. <laughs> Um, Stripes? Look at the pie diagram. We will, uh, we'll give it away. Please, no more charts. Please, I'm begging you. This is our first game. And uh, I think it's important to point out that, for the most part... Anything. This is why Stanley and I are on such good terms. I'll wait for the narrator. You're a poor, humble narrator. This is a good time to point out that the games that we are doing, for the most part, are in no particular order. We are not ranking them from 10 down to 1 or 1 down to 10. This is not the best game. This is not the worst game um, of we the 10. We don't conform to lists of 10. We're pretty qualitative. Uh, there, there will be a... I mean, there'll be a we, have a... we have something that I think requires some special um, explanation for why it is here or isn't here. But we'll get to that yeah, when we get to that. special something. Resent coworkers for not supporting your move. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Stripes. You need stripes in your pie What do diagram. people want? Things. Money. More money. Things, but with money to buy more things. Graphs. Yeah. Graphs, Graphs about things, things and money. money. <laughs> we, we have we our have. new product. <laughs> Graphs about <laughs> things and money. I don't think I've ever read this particular whiteboard. The stock market is somewhere. That's here. alert. Happy feelings is what's crossed out and it says, Mike James, you are fired. <laughs> Stock market is. I like the stripes. Here. Requires more what secondary. Research. Colored in segment. <laughs> <laughs> stripes requires more secondary research. Hi. Mm. Target demographic: teenagers. <laughs> what is hot? Profits. 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 <laughs> profits. 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 Ooh. A lot of percent. <laughs> By quarterly post review review. We need more less reviews. We need more slash less. No. Death sport portion in the primary review <laughs> schedule. Water cooler heaters? What? If I was extra mean, the trivia question may come from these whiteboards. <clears throat> that would involve me actually writing something down, too. Yeah. A lot of percent. <laughs> Space between the teenagers. Throw something in the idea bin. <laughs> no more bins. Trash cans. Renaming of the... What? Renaming of the one? Ideas bin, I guess. Uh. I want to see what this one says, too. Meeting Monday. Termination Tuesday. Weekly target. Ooh. 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 Tuesdays sound rough. <laughs> yeah. We broke Wednesdays. Oh, we're broke. Financial panic. Boss. Cranking floor five meeting. <laughs> What to do about 432? Huh. Interesting, I'll remember that one. <laughs> Get Future Christmas was yesterday. <laughs> Mr. Stanley. <laughs> oh, monetize free to play. <laughs> 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 Oh shit, I didn't even realize he could do that. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. What did you realize you couldn't do, World? Get pushed by doors? Of course, yeah. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Can't go wrong way, world. You're very powerful, world. Super powerful. All these red lights make me nervous. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. 
And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Oh, and for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. Oh he just God. hadn't found the words for it. Yeah. I'm dreaming, he yelled. Th this is, this the point is all repeats. a dream. Oh, this picture. What a relief, Stanley felt, to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Whoa. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, <laughs> who found it particularly strange. <laughs> I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And when he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. <laughs> Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. Can anyone hear my voice? Oh, my and everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Are you happy world? You're now a woman. Mariella woke right. up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. <laughs> he was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. 
I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Mariella. All right. Well, he went crazy. Good job. <laughs> well, I mean, you killed yourself, and then you went crazy. No, I just said he collapsed dead. No, I mean, crazy. The first one. Ah. Uh, so that was the end. I goofed How it. long was I sitting there? Stanley oh. wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Well, did I don't know. Did you goof it any more, any more first than first you did when you jumped off the edge? Time from now on. What, was it, what do we do about 432? Yeah, 432, that's what it was. Yeah. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Sorry, you don't have the key for that. <laughs> Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. I don't want to put that in. Hmm. I want to put some other number in. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination bye, was bye. two, eight, four, five. By simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. It's a camera way up there. Mm -hmm. So what do you think of the game so far? It's cool. Mm -hmm. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Yeah, that definitely sounds better in terms of the game quality. For years, it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility.
and the lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? So that was a good cinematic pan there. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life. Their Hi. true nature revealed. Each board a number here? of an employee oh, in the building. Gone. You can't. And his no one can hear you, Teclas. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Like, the microphone didn't pick that up at all. Three, two. You had other ones say fired on them? Mm -hmm. Much better, by the way, Teclas. Much better. This is your first uh, new HBOP production, isn't it? Uh, yeah, since the splitters were uh, brought in. And, and the new mic as well? Control yeah, the one new mic. Was oh. the only reason and was happy that you're not using. <laughs> that his and, he, and starting to use them at least more properly. Yeah. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Are you gonna make a song? If you uh, hit them in the correct sequence, you can beat the boss in this area. There's a boss? What? He's lying again. Stop lying. <laughs> stop. <laughs> well, I can push if you are lying now, stop. <laughs> All these buttons in this room you can push, I think. No, I can't push these. They don't have any symbols on them. Oh. Wait, the other ones have symbols on them? Yeah. There's a triangle, a house, and a ten. Wait. I couldn't see that. Yeah. Oh, this has a okay. power one. That's the hermetic symbol. And... Double helix? No. <coughs> I'm, I, I'm finding them hard to read myself. Well, the yellow one is kind of tough. Yeah, the yellow one is pretty weird. <clears throat> right, maybe you should try to find the lights. Don't press the on button yet. Two, eight, four, five. One, two, B, four? Yeah, one, two, B, four. THX 1138. Or why would they have the four like way up there? I don't know. If there's anything that can happen in this room, I haven't seen it yet. So three. Five. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty 
his obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How Good long job, until the detonation then? Say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your <laughs> time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine, I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control the stuff, wrested right? away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go, but I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left, but I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock, why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? Won? Solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No end here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Well, that was fun. <laughs> How do you like that? Lots of, uh... All right, all right let's, do, let's do one more run-through and then call, call it for the Stanley Parable. Okay. Lots of anti-conventional. You know, no, nobody is able. It's found. Sure of it. uh, if I checked, oh, you don't sure don't say that. Why? Catch them. It was no one's just found out how to do it yet. 
That's what I said. Oh, okay. Yeah, I said nobody's found an ending to that. Right. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I really want to see what happens if I keep going in that direction. Do it. Uh, Do it. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Don't do it. But he didn't fuck around. <laughs> but he would World do it. pressed the big red button. <laughs> big red button, but the big red button. I like the anti-conventional gameplay in the uh, last the scene there where you die. You to wander about. Explosion, and like, you can't win. Yeah. You think you can so win, but you won't. To get back, he needed to go, um... Uh, from here, it's, um... Left. Oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. No, 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 <laughs> not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yeah. Yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. No, no, this yeah. isn't right at all. That's You're not well supposed to be here yet. Yeah, this is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay. Sorry, what was that? Okay, we just, we just had to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. You were hoping to get here? Story yeah. completely unusable. <laughs> How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just oh, start fuck. the game from the beginning. It's literally time, just... Suppose we don't want <laughs> so far off track, hmm? Okay. <gasps> from the right. top. No, don't yeah. worry. Just, uh, I'll let you keep going. That was pretty short. <sighs> Press a button in this room. Were what button? What, what could know, it computer. mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. That's all I could do. Apparently. Right. So have you come up with a a way to give away the Stanley Parable yet? I've got one one way. If yeah. that fails, I've we can come up with a backup. Cool. When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Oh, Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back oh, in that room with shit. all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... A... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then, it's an adventure. Come, Stanley. <laughs> Let's find the story. God, I can't jump. <laughs> you jump. Uh, I, I've already gotten it, it, so you won't see it. But I believe there is an achievement for trying to jump a certain amount of times. It it tells you there is no jump button. <laughs> There's an achievement for that. That's fine. So it's pretty pretty good. They they realized that they made a game without a jump. Is there a jump in portal? Yeah. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Platformer. Most certainly. Alright, let's off to find I'll the story. Say, this is the worst adventure I've ever been uh, on. I can promise just started. you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's gotta be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Fuck! <laughs> You're serious? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? That's bogus. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had I like that's kind of like uh, all the force restarting. It's like oh fuck! You're not in control. Okay, yep, it's worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything?
Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. What? What? Ah. Uh. Well. Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! <laughs> wow! I know you awesome! Did. You beat the Stanley Parable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Game over. Straight up. Enjoy. Marathon did in less than an hour. <laughs> <laughs> First playthrough ever. I don't yeah. feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work yes, for win. Yes. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay? I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what okay, I have yeah, this time, I have to restart. You want to call it? Yeah. Okay. All oh. right. I've got a solution. <sighs> this time, <laughs> <don't you laughs> I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure. It's not trademarks, man. You have to How believe the trademarks. <laughs> How simple is that? But this isn't how it happened before. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> well, I have to follow the line. I'm, yeah, I'm towing the line. Life's I'm mission. towing the line at this right. point. He's towing the line. <laughs> <laughs> Around the, the story box. Is. It's over in this direction. The line. Trailer. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such as <laughs> <that> the destination <laughs> of the your face along the wall? <laughs> the very manifestation of the nature of life itself. All the line oh, to the letter. Hang on. Fuck! <laughs> well, I'd like to apologize. <laughs> Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a little Wow. Music, <laughs> <laughs> This is just I love how World does build maps in his mind. <laughs> uh, nah, nah. <laughs> The, the Everybody's gonna ignore the. Yes. <laughs> Fuck your interdimensional shit. Music, go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Fuck it. So you draw the line of the fern? Ah! Ah, well, fuck! Uh, you <laughs> interdimensional <laughs> Fern, what are you doing? Wait, what? We're back at the office? Oh, you're... No, no, no. Line, you didn't know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? For fuck's sakes. Ah. Uh, no. <laughs> no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... No, oh, I can't take this Okay, now we're calling with it. Man. Restart. Restart. Fuck. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well. You don't want to keep. You don't. Wanna, you want to take that further? This is all part of one ending. Or I could begin the game again. 
It's up to you. Press another if button. you want to call it. You know what, Stanley? Oh. I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent Window. people, right? Window. Why can't we make up our own story? Where's Something home? exciting, Shh. daring, oh, mysterious. mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Uh, no, so let's write a story? Again. I hope. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in you, our awesome trademark, story. My trademark, my no <laughs> lines or monitor room. Oh, you? Just don't acknowledge it. <laughs> it, trademark. Anytime it refers to the line, yeah. trademark. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. <laughs> well, I like how this has turned you into an, uh, an Stanley, obedient person. <laughs> the place where we're trying to go, must this should be military training. Door. Yeah. It's here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter inverted reverse door's origin. So, starting from the right, let us ask will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. What? Another victory for what? logic. No, that's Come, terrible. Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Does he even open the door? Check the other one behind you. Okay, so let's stay close. Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank box simply store. because it's written here on this this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Uh, I just wanted to uh, look, look backwards. Why don't I Both doors came here. This? Is it really? <laughs> no, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. Which 30 you I don't want to forget what's going on. That's a good question. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I, I, I think we're at the fifth restart. It. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time return stopped. Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. After a long time, Stanley dies. Life is about <laughs> the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Oh, yeah, we're on but fourth respect. <laughs> What? Well, we're in the fourth restart. <laughs> so this is this is the fourth restart. Fifth. This, this is the fifth. fifth. Okay. All right, and that's where we'll call it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That is the Stanley Parable, everybody. There are many, many more endings than that. There are many things that we didn't explore. I'm glad that you found you had you picked a great as, uh, assortment of endings. Um, <clears throat> fantastic job, world. Uh, let's uh, let's go on to giving away our copy of the Stanley Parable. Uh, let's see. What is the office that Stanley works in's primary product? Oh, shit. What? What is the office well, is that room? Stanley works in? Yeah, go to the office room so we can verify the, the answer. Nice. All of his co-workers were gone. And they have what until we get mean? there? 
Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a So minute. yeah, because in the fifth one it said for the fifth restart, narrator forgets about previous restarts, and that's what just happened. When Stanley came oh, to a set of right. two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, yeah, it's left. Alright, so stop here. Stand in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you guys have uh, one minute. <laughs> so, what, 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 was, what was the question again? What is the product that this office Company. produces? I happen to know this. Since one. I don't know, can I guess? No. No. no, no, no. Don't say anything. <laughs> Do you want a copy of the Stanley Parable Techlist? <laughs> uh, I don't Techlist have decided that. not that he did not want a copy of. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker. Thinking about him. <laughs> yeah. He has no idea. I have an alternative answer. question if that one was too difficult. It was not too difficult. We it was made pretty fucking clear. I, I did I did explicitly state oh, that I made you something really for that now. room. Um Profits. Alright. Profits. Uh, I'm gonna go on to the secondary world, what do you do you want to take a guess at it? It was charts and graphs. Charts and graphs, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, there was a bit of more Charts specific answer as well, but uh, I would have taken that. <laughs> uh, alternatively, what is the very in most important thing in this story that we mustn't forget? The uh, Finn. Uh, yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Go back. What? You, you can't go back. Coming to a staircase, <laughs> Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, what was the Stanley question? was once again what is, uh, to discover something very important to the story that we mustn't forget. What could it? Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. All right, uh, anyway, why don't you, uh, Bisk, you need to log into Steam and you need to get uh, Rogue Legacy on that computer. Music. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, let's, uh, very wide, everybody. Yeah. Let's close the game. Everybody's getting in the mood. After this music. I'm into it. Oh, baby. Could almost be like Christmas <laughs> music. And rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the open down. Oh, no. Coolio, Stanley Parable. Parabula. In fucking dubitably.